My name is Anna Grace Myers. I go to Stillman Douglas and I've been going there since my freshman year. I actually really like the school, which is different from what a lot of people say because not a lot of people like high school or they always complain about it. And everyone there is really nice. It's kind of like a, we're our own family. And I run cross country and track for my school. I have my own little team, which is our own friend group. And school has just been going really well. I have nice classes, I have nice teachers, and everything kind of just flipped upside down when Valentine's Day happened. You hear people saying, the suspect is in the freshman building. This is what the suspect is wearing. I hear gunshots. A million things are going through my mind and I check my phone. My biggest mistake ever. I have tons and tons of messages of people saying, I love you, this is where I am, I'm running out of the school. None of us could leave, none of us could do anything. I just started crying and I was so scared. Everyone was shaking, we were all grabbing onto each other. And, you know, it felt like forever. And I turned the corner and I saw my mom and I just started crying before. And I, I was okay and then I wasn't when I saw her. And. I don't know what happened, but I just ran up to her and I gave her the biggest hug and I was sobbing because I thought that would have been one of the last times I would have seen my mom. And we drove home and it was just quiet. I didn't want to talk to anyone. I didn't want to do anything. I stayed in my house for a couple of days because I didn't really want to leave. I didn't want to see anyone. I just wanted to be home and safe. Um, I really just got used to staying, sitting on the couch and just watching the news and for a really long time I kind of just felt numb as if nothing really happened. A lot of people would be like, I'm very angry, I'm very sad, and I was kind of just like, I don't feel anything and I really wanted to for a really long time. And so the week we got back to school, my mom said that we were going to look at a puppy and I had been asking for a puppy for the longest time. She was given to the free to live by her, um, by the vet. With her eight babies we got here. Somehow, Augie figured out that she was in charge and she would bring food to the mom and stay with them. And then she, um, after we got to her, she sent me a ton of pictures of her sleeping with her mom. And she said, I think her mom made it just because of Augie. They're so the cute. Hi, Pops. And um, that stayed with me. I met Augie and I kind of just <laughs> fell in love with her right there. I fell in love with every dog, but her was different. She was kind of just sitting in my lap and she wouldn't move for the longest time. I, I knew that I had to have her. They looked at each other and the next thing you know, that was it. I was waiting me for work. And so when we came home, I just completely lied down with her and I just wanted to be with her every minute of the day. She slept with me. I would have nightmares because of what happened. I still kind of have nightmares today. It's getting easier to deal with because she's always there. We had a cross country meet and one of the people that we lost in the shooting was my coach. It was really emotional for all of us because he wasn't there and we weren't used to it. And we wanted him to be there. We wanted him to say, like, good job, good run, or just congratulations. And he wasn't there. And I came home and I was crying. 
and my mom gave me a hug and she was crying too and Ogie just came to join us on the couch and just came to snuggle with us. I noticed Ogie's birthday is the same as Anna Grace's, Thanksgiving Day. Ogie's has the same uh, freckle and the same side of the face that my daughter does. And for some reason, I think this was meant to be. And um, she gives as much joy and comfort as um, we get from her. I don't know that we can give her as much as she gives us. I can leave my room and she'll be right there waiting for me or, or she'll be sleeping with me. She just wants to be all everywhere with me and that's the only thing I really needed is someone to spend more time with me and someone to make sure that I was okay. I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful that we have her to help us every day. She just makes things around the house just a little bit better. <laughs>